In this video, we're going to take a look at the remaining options across the Game View toolbar, starting off with Maximize on Play. Now, it's really kind of, you know, the button already tells you exactly what it does. If we have this checked or activated and we hit Play, the Game View is going to maximize and get nice and big while we are playing. As soon as we stop playing, it's going to go back down to whatever size it happened to be. That's really all there is to it. Yeah, that one's not very hard. Next, we have Gizmos. Now, if we take a look, let's jump over to the scene view real quick. So here we are in scene view, and let's take a look at our campfire. And here inside the campfire, we don't see our particles or anything, but we do see a little gizmo here for the light and for our little sound, uh, our, our what audio source, as well as an audio source on the player. If we look out here in the distance, we can see our wind. Now, if I jump back over to game view, switch on gizmos, and hit play, we now see those gizmos right here inside the game view as well. Now, if I reach over, and I realize I can't really do both things at once because of the way the camera turns, but if I switch those off and rotate back around, you'll see those are gone. So that's all that's doing is just switching those little gizmos on and off if you need to see where things like audio sources and whatnot are hiding in your level. Now, next, we can turn stats on and off. And stats do exactly what you'd think they do. It turns on a series of statistics that can help you figure out uh, kind of the overall performance of your game. Uh, how many uh, frames per second you're getting, how many draw calls you're using, uh, all kinds of uh, information about how many textures are being used, and so on and so forth. So it's a, kind of your base level way to see how expensive or uh, how easy or hard to run your game might right. be. Right, this is an awesome tool for when you get into the... Uh, performance optimization uh, part of your level. When you're building, you're adding terrain, and you're trying to decide how complex your terrain is going to be vice performance. So you can right. sit there and you can make your terrain detail 2,000 by 48, 2,000 by 48. You jump in and realize, wow, it's running at 8 frames a second. So yeah. that's not really going to cut it. So then you start tweaking back, and you can use this to uh, compare the changes that you're making and what kind of performance you're getting back. And obviously you can see that our little demonstration level here has not been optimized. No, not at all. But uh, that's a quick look at the functions that exist across the top of the game toolbar, which is going to wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.